Greta Thunberg, the environmental activist, uh, she has posted in support of Palestine on Instagram. Um, and the caption that was uh, with the post reads, uh, Week 270, today we are striking in solidarity with Palestine and Gaza. The world needs to speak up and call for an immediate ceasefire. Justice and freedom for Palestinians and all civilians effective, affected. Also, one thing I would like to mention that I have been meaning to mention for a while. Every time there's a ce- call for a ceasefire and then afterwards we're back to square one. We shouldn't be calling for a ceasefire just on its own. We need a call for a ceasefire with conditions with conditions that the enemies of humanity stop what they have been doing, what they have been doing now in the last few days, and what they have been doing for the last 70 years. That's what we call the ceasefires. End to what's happening now, and end to what you've been doing for the last 70 years. Otherwise, a ceasefire, how many times have you called for a ceasefire, and how many times have you back to square one? How many times have you repaired buildings, and given money and given aid, and then how many times are oh, the buildings broken again and we to give money again? Or we some kind of mugs that every time we're giving money, every time it's getting broken. It's like me giving um, ten pounds for you to go and um, fix something, then you break it again, then I give ten pounds again, then you break it again, then give ten pounds, fix it, it shouldn't be broken again. Or we, this is what they're doing. We give money, it gets fixed, they bomb the place again, we're giving our money again. What is wrong with them? What is wrong with us as well? We give money so it shouldn't be bombed again. We we won't just accept a ceasefire. Ceasefire with conditions that the enemies of humanity stop what they have been doing for the last 70 years. And that's what ceasefire is. Not just, oh, we'll stop for a few days if everyone's happy and then we'll just do what we're continuing to do for the last 70 years like nobody's going to notice. No, you're going to stop, then you're going to stop. There's no ceasefire for a few days. This is what we need to be calling for. Whether they agree to it or not, whether they listen or not, we've, at least we can say it. Then if we die tomorrow, we have said the truth, we have asked for the truth, and if we haven't gotten the truth, we haven't gotten what we asked for, we leave it to God. We did our best. And we leave everything else to him. He can. He will do the rest. This is important. Not just ceasefire. Ceasefire with conditions.